ICR number 15607772. This is Officer Thompson of the Lake Park Police Department taking a tape statement at our office, 19th, 13th Avenue North, City of Lake Park. The date is Friday, December 11th, 2015. The time is 0855 hours. I am here with Ibrahim Isaac. Okay. Ibrahim. Ibrahim, could you, uh, what is your date of birth? 12191. Uh, what is your address? Uh, 415 33rd Avenue North, uh, apartment 301, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Okay. And your phone number? 615-720-2093. Okay. And you're giving a statement to Officer Thompson who uh, identified himself as a Wake Park police officer? Yes. Okay. No. And you understand that you are not under arrest? No, no, I'm not. You are free to go at any time. You don't have to answer any of my questions if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Okay, the only reason the door is closed right now is so that others don't hear what we're saying. Yeah, they can stay here. They're probably next door. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. You don't trust me, do you? Um, so, I think a week ago when I came here and I spoke with the chief, okay. um, my case was inactive. Okay. And the part of it that was inactive was the theft. Um, chief, the uh, officer solver, the primary officer, um, Sergeant DeShane and yourself have found um, that there was no probable causes of the reasons why my don't, vehicle was taken from don't, me. Don't, don't include me in that, okay? I just got this report mm -hmm. on December 4th. I got it put on my, on my uh, caseload. Okay. Who okay. put it there? So I, the chief. Okay. So I have been working this since December 4th. I've okay. only been at it for, you know, okay. a week. It was last Friday when I had it. Do you have copies of the report? No, I, it's, it's an active investigation. Well, I was told active yesterday by you and Chief, so anyways, I, I have the report here. Yep, no, that's the initial. And yeah, well. That's not my report. Yeah, I, I understand, but so far, what do you know so far about the case? Okay, well, do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'm asking you so far what you know. Well, I have a lot of concerns. I have some concerns of what you did that night. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of concerns about what the girls did that night. Okay. So, but what do you what, what do you know so far? I'm not going to tell you what I know. Okay. Ibrahim. That's not. Well, you're not interviewing me. I'm interviewing you. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Here's so here's you want to tell me what happened that night. I'd be more than happy to listen to it. Okay. But like you said yesterday, you already told the officers what had happened, right? Yeah, but here's the thing. Um, I reported crimes. Yep. I had several things that happened to me. Yes. My vehicle was taken from me I, without my consent while I was outside of my vehicle. Yep. Confronting my brother and trying to get him back into my car. In a physical fight with your brother. No, we were never in a physical <laughs> fight. You were. I was not. Three people have said that. Ibrahim. Uh, if if you're gonna sit here and we're gonna argue back and forth no, about no. minor oh, details, here, here's we're the not thing, gonna man. go like that. Okay? We were tussling. I was grabbing on him, pulling him in, trying to pull him in the car. He, he threw, threw punches. Him. You threw punches. No, no, no. Yes. I I didn't throw yes. any punches at him. I, he's he's a little mentor in, me, mentally impaired, and I was no, trying he's, to. He's not. He's a very capable well, young man. Okay, he was hospitalized. He went to court. Stearns County has a com uh, commitment with him. No, they don't. Yes, they do. How are you going to tell me? I'm his brother. He was hospitalized. He did go to hospitalized. Yes, he's, but he's, he's mentally out. impaired. He's diagnosed with uh, bipolar, bipolar yep. schizophrenia, and psychosis. He's impaired. He has a social worker, Stearns County social mm -hmm. worker. Okay, he has mental impaired, okay. uh, uh, mental inabilities. Well, so, from, from what he told me and from what the girls told me, it's almost spot on. So, so you you spoke to the girls again? I did. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go through their reports because I didn't take those and I didn't write those. Okay, but here's here's what they say, and officers are still saying that they have no probable cause, even though Morgan, who took my vehicle, she had admitted to taking my vehicle without my permission. It says here, and her sorry excuse was, I took the vehicle, I jumped in the front seat, and I took the vehicle because she didn't feel safe. Okay. Now I want to know where her statement is justified under law. I never gave her consent, and I told her, don't take my vehicle, don't take my vehicle. 
My brother was standing in front of the car with his hands on no, the hood. No, 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 no. Yes. No, we are not. We are not going there. Okay. No, I'm saying. Okay. I'm, that, this, this. We are not going you, there because that is a blatant you, lie. You, you, asked me what happened. I'm telling you what happened. That, he that he placed his hands both girls, on the hood. Both girls and your brother said that did not happen. Okay. Let me ask you. Were you there? No, I wasn't. Okay, but so you asked me what happened, right? I'm giving people. I'm say uh, we're not going to talk over each other all day. Mm -hmm. Okay, if three people say no, that didn't happen, and one person says it did, then I'm going on the three side. Okay, here's the thing, though. I listened to the recording, and I have the audio recording of you and my brother. All right, mm -hmm. you you took advantage of his yeah, mental not. inabilities in trying to get a false confession out of him. I did. You told him you have camera footages showing him being six feet away from the car when they drove off. You used that, and you used the advantage that he was mentally impaired. Oh, I oh, we used that tactic There's, all the time. Okay, but here's the thing. There was an innocence project that was done a few years ago, all right, where they found that 138 mentally challenged people were convicted of a crime that they didn't do because of false conviction. I am not convicting your brother of anything. False confession. I am not they've not they've convicted like them because I of false... I think your brother is very smart. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You asked me what happened that night. I'm telling you what happened. I, are, are you I, going to listen? I, I will listen. Okay. But he I put his to, hand on the hood. And I tried I mean, to, I'm not going to listen I, to that. I grabbed the door. I no. grabbed the door. And you I told him. You were laying the, in the grass. I was laying in the grass. Yep. You saw that. I was laying in the your grass brother, when my vehicle your, was taken from Your me. brother said you were on the ground in the grass when your vehicle was being backed out and taken. Okay. Anyways, before he was pulled out of that, after they reversed, and before they went and put the car in drive, my brother put his hands on the hood, standing in front of the vehicle. Okay, he had his hands on the hood, telling the girls, please don't leave us, don't drive off. And I was standing there telling the girls, do not drive off, you have no permission to take my car, I'm calling the police. And they put it in drive and drove off, almost running my brother over. Well, how did, that they, happened. How did they get around him if he's standing right in front of it with his hands on the hood? They drove off. How, he how, how he could got they, out of the way as they were trying to hit him. Of course, he moved. Well, how could they try to hit him when he's standing there right with his hands on the hood? Yes, he moved out of the way because the, when she put it in drive and she was pulling out, he went like that and got out of the way. <laughs> no. Yes, he uh, did. No. That's what happened. Even, but anyways, even, even, even here. Here's the thing. Listen to me. I have a lot of things that I'm going to charge these girls with. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you coming in here and lying to me? I'm not lying to you. How am I lying to you? Okay? How am I lying to you? I'm not going to listen to that. How am I lying to you? How am I lying to you? That did not happen. That did not happen. That did not happen. Based on what? Based on your brother who was there and two girls. He had a very rehearsed, rehearsed. Rehearsed. According to you. According to you. And you have made up a story. There, there are not too many people to, that to speak at approximately uh, zero two hundred hours. He's mentally challenged. That's how he talks. No. That's how he talks. You want to ask his daughter? I mean, doctors at the hospital. Do you want to ask his counselor, his Terrence County counselor? Oh, I still have some people to talk to. Yeah, I, I can give you her name and, and, and her number. You can talk to her. He's mentally impaired, and you use yeah, that to the well, advantage and, and, of getting and, him to. I can tell you, you said to my man. Okay. Well, anyway, he's a very he's a very smart young man. Okay, he is. All right. According to you, he is, and he yeah. has no problem whatsoever. Now, in the report here, I'm not Morgan, going over their report. That's not my Morgan. Report. Morgan had said she took my vehicle without my permission, and she jumped in the front seat and drove off because she felt unsafe. Mm -hmm. Now, here, according to the Minnesota laws. Ibrahim. Okay. Ibrahim. Here's, here, here's what Minnesota lawyers Ibrahim. are saying. Are, will you listen to me for a minute? Mm -hmm. I am writing my report. I am writing what the girl said. I'm writing what your brother said. But you're and not going to write what, what, what you're saying. Okay. And I am going to send it to the county attorney. Yes. I want they to. are going to make the choice up. Mm -hmm. I guarantee that you are going to get charged with stuff. For what? What did I do? The gun, waving it around, who, being who, intoxicated who, who, who? with a gun. Who There's going to be some issues that you're going to get too, okay? I'm no, just telling you straight I'm up. I'm not. You will get charged with something, I okay? I am innocent. I didn't no, do anything. No, That's no. what you're saying. Ibrahim, there's too many people that said you that 
that this who, was going who, on. Who, who okay? said that? The girls and your brother. Okay? What did they say? So, are we done here? Because no. I'm not going to argue about every little detail. I am telling you right now mm -hmm. that I am sending this to the county attorney. Okay, today, the county right? attorney is going to, not today. Mm -hmm. My report will not be done today. The county attorney will review it, and they will charge everybody that they see fit in there. Okay, right, okay? Right, right, right. I already have, I already know um, and have admitted that uh, I know who took your gun. Who your phone. It? I'm not telling you that. It's part of my okay, active investigation. Good, I, I so I have that. I have felony theft charges coming. I have a lot of charges coming. But I also think I have charges on you coming. Okay. okay? That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's I, fine. I, it, you told us to investigate this. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I investigated okay. it. And I investigated but both sides. And you will have your day in court. Right. Okay? Now, but so far you don't see that they took my vehicle uh, without my permission. That right? is up to the county attorney. Okay. In my opinion, no. Why is that, though? Because they were in fear when you were punching him in the face. You had a gun. Your gun was out I, in the, in the uh, hotel room. My car room, was inside waving, the car at that time. Then. And uh, my, car was, my, my firearm was inside the vehicle that they, they stole they, from they, me. Did they know that? Yes, they did, and they saw me put it there. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and they were afraid that you guys were punching on each other and everything else, and they took that your car. It makes and no they sense, and it's and not that. justified yeah. under law. Well, All right. there's she a lot of stuff being afraid and everything else no, like no, that. No, no, no. If they were afraid and if I was that gun-toting sex maniac that they portrayed me in the report, why, why, why did they not contact police? Why did you have condoms with you? I had condoms? Yeah. I have condoms with me all the time. Okay. Why did you pull them out and why did your brother go ahead and I, give I, me one of those? No, no, no. He didn't say that. He's that was in the report. I no, no, he no, he didn't. Did. No, he didn't. Did. And the only time that I had pulled it out of my, it, it was in my pocket the whole entire time. Yep. And I said it in the room when Officer Saubers and Whitehead come in to okay. check the room. Ibrahim, we're going to have some issues, okay? Mm -hmm. I can tell you that, okay? But you got to let the county attorney review it but and let the, the county thing, attorney if, if do I it. If I was this maniac, crazy lunatic sex I, maniac, gun told in, my, in my opinion. Why did they not call the police? I left the room at a certain point. In, in and I went opinion, to the front desk. Ibrahim, can, you, can I speak? Why did they not call the police if that was true? I don't believe you are a gun-toting crazy maniac. That's, okay? that's what they're saying in I the report. I believe that you were intoxicated. No, but they're portraying me as a gun told yeah. sex maniac in the report. Did I say that I'm going to believe everything that they say? No. And I don't believe everything yeah. that you say? No, no, no. Everybody, yeah. let, me, let, me, let me tell you something, okay? There are three sides. When you, when you do yeah, this job, there are three sides. sides. There's going to be your side as, the, as the, uh, one witness. There's going to be I'm their a victim. side. I'm not a witness. You I'm are a also a witness. And there's going to be another side of them as being a witness also. Mm -hmm. And then in between those two stories is going to be the truth. Because you're always going to make it try and sound better for your side. And they're always going to make it try and sound better yes. for their side. They were suspects so, who stole my vehicle. So of course they're going to make up Yep. This. And you were, you were intoxicated and couldn't drive. And you got behind the wheel that? and turned who on the car. That? And you were waving a gun around. Oh, and really? Else. And, and so somewhere in the middle mm -hmm. is going to be the truth. Okay? Mm -hmm. And the county attorney will figure that out. I'm going to write up what I know and what everybody said to me, and that's all I'm doing. I okay? know you. If I if I if I thought I had you know like um, if I thought I was going to arrest you or anything like that, I would have read you Miranda, right? Here's here's the thing, dude. and you know when that. We had footage, and you knew what really happened out there in the parking lot. They'd be in jail today. No. Yes, they would. No. Because you would have saw them where they almost run him over, they didn't even and they took to my it. vehicle. They didn't get close to him. No, you didn't see that. But if you were to see that, they'd be no. in jail today. Three, when three people say no, especially the one who says he was standing in front of it, and you, then he's like, You no. made up a lie and played with his mind and trying to falsely confess to, yes, you know what? You might be right. I might have been six steps or six feet away from the vehicle. The same story you made he up. You lied to me constantly. No, but you made he up that lie. Constantly. You said, you I said, didn't make up that you, lie. You said, hey, Isaac, you know, they didn't run you over. They never run you over. You were six feet away. I said, you were never standing in front of that car. That's that's what you said. Yeah. So you made him believe that. You had no, it locked, no. locked into no, his I head. Didn't, didn't. You had it locked and into his had, head. Had and he said, he said, you know what? You yeah. might be right. You know, you know I, no, I, I yeah. think they might have not tried to run me. And, you know, you, you might have been right because, you know, I might have been six steps away. Yeah. You used advantage 
full advantage of his mental impairness I know I to falsely confess to your made-up story. That's what you did. No, I it's going to come up in court. That, and that's fine. Yeah, that's and, and, and the lawyers will decide if he's going to get up there and talk. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which I guarantee is not going to happen. He's mentally challenged and mentally impaired. It's not. Okay. Well, you're saying he's not. The Stearns County is saying he is. He was hospitalized and diagnosed with these things. So we're going to see. We will. Okay. Okay. All right. You have no further questions? I don't have any questions. I don't either. Okay. All right.